Welcome back, everyone, to more of the ADC gameplays. This time with Mr. Uh, Mr. Rama. He's a fun character to play. I really like Rama. He's a yeah. He's good. He's cool. He's a neat guy. Uh, well, okay. I like I like Rama when I can hit his ultimate, and that's like sometimes I'm good at hitting his ultimate, and sometimes I'm not good at hitting his ultimate. So we'll see. We'll see what it is today. When you can hit his ultimate, you know, with like decent precision, then he's pretty fun to play. When you miss his ultimate all the time, it's uh, it's less fun to play. So hopefully this is hopefully this is the the more fun ultimate to hit one. That would be neat. That would be that would be a neat thing to do. So we'll see we'll see what it's like. Oh yeah, also so this is the first ADC video I've done since uh, the change to throwing dagger, and so my feels with the throwing dagger. Um, I do think, you know, sometimes now you don't want to get it. I think there's certain characters you definitely want to get it on. I think Rama's one of those characters. I think Apollo, you're always going to get it. Uh, Artemis, Shibalonke, probably Jingwei, but I'm not too sure about that. I don't have player tons. So I think there's still characters you definitely always get Throwing Dagger on. I also think there's characters that you should probably always get Trans on, like Uller. I think Neath is really good with Trans and also, uh, Chiron. IMO you should trans on. The rest of the gods, I think you're safe to kind of just do whatever you want. Like if you feel like going trans on like on her, that's fine. If you would, uh, if you prefer the throwing dagger, then go throwing dagger. And same with, uh, what's with Athena starting with her dash? Silly thing. I guess because they want to hit both camps or something. I don't know. So yeah, I think you can go either way with a, with a lot of characters. Medusa, I think you go either way. On her, like I said, you go either way. All the other hunters who I'm not naming right now, you could go either way. So yeah, it's really like a preference, however you want to play it. It's up to you. But yeah, I think, I think Rama, just because he's so auto-attack based, I mean, you're not going to go trans on him. And I think throwing dagger is just too strong to pass up if you're not going to go trans. The thing that sucks mostly, like the, the crit going away is kind of crummy. But I think the thing that sucks the most is just uh, the extra 50 gold kind of crummy because you miss out on a potion. You have a little bit less sustain, you just gotta be careful. But again, with Rama, you're pretty safe, especially with the buff he got not super duper long ago. That helps out his, uh, his arrows. Less mana and all that. That's a cool, that's a cool thing to do. This, this is wrong, or this, uh, on her's dead. Alright. That was easy. I don't know why they decided to fight us in all of our minions. I guess that was more the thing, just being aggressive, and they had to, uh, had to do stuff. They had to, like, defend, but yeah. I guess Honor didn't get his jump yet, which is weird. I don't know why you wouldn't get your jump as your second thing with Honor, but whatever. That was a good, that was a good start. Um, hopefully our mid laner and friend doesn't get pooped on. They seem to be getting pooped on right now. But whatever. Rama can hard carry, too, which is a good thing, especially because I go crit with him still. I like doing the Deathbringer and Malice. Finishing off the build, even though before I did it, because it's like, oh, well, you, you already have crit with the, tr the throwing dagger, so you just want to go crit with other stuff, just kind of make it make it even more. More crits, so the 10% turns into like 20%. But I think uh, he's one of the characters. Who, oh, ow. Ow. It's hard to, sometimes it's hard to talk and fight in the dual lane. Yeah, I think if you're so again back to the builds because I just want to talk on that a little bit more, just because of the change changes things. I think if you do want to build trans, which is again is the thing you can do. I think what you should do is uh, I might be dead here. Mm. Damn it! I wanted to, I didn't think I thought I'd be able to uh, change in time to not have to beads that, but I probably should just beads early and rolled away. That would have been the smart thing to do. That's fine. The only problem is now this Fender has four kills. Jeez Louise, he has four kills. A lot of kills. A lot of kills for people to be for people to be getting. But anyways, like I said, I want to talk about the builds just a little bit more. So IMO, if you're building throwing dagger first, that's fine. Again, you can do that on, you can do that really on anyone you want. I just wouldn't do it on Uller, Neath, or Chiron personally ever. The other gods would be like situational for the most part. Um I think if you're building throwing dagger, you should do an auto attack build. I think if that's what you're trying to focus on, that's what you should continue to focus on. Whereas if you go uh, the what should we call it? What's the other thing? Trance. If you go trans, I think you should focus more on penetration, like more 
Make sure you tighten Spain earlier. Get a. Uh, get other pen items too, maybe. Yeah, so my auto my auto attack build is basically build a uh, attack speed, then build a uh, crit. But I think crit's really really strong still, and people are just under undervaluing it. Also, it's kind of expensive, which is kind of scrummy, But if you can get the crit built without being super far behind, I think it's worth. Probably would have been smart just to alt there, because I was going to do it anyways. Dang it. Wish I hit that other shot, but I didn't. I don't think this team should dive this. I don't think that was a good idea to dive that, but I guess we got the kill out of it. I think we would have been fine just to let him back if he had to, though, and miss out on gold. That's fine, though. I just can't get their boar now. If the Athena was alive, I probably would have tried to invade. Oh, they got our boar. Feels bad. If Athena was alive, I think we would have gone for their boar. But I don't want to risk it all in my lonesome. Yeah, I probably should have just ulted his alt. Them unit. Because I was kind of thinking of alting anyways, because the on her was sort of low. And we got the Ares low enough to kill. The fact that I used both is kind of crummy. Because his next alt, I won't have anything to get out of. If he does it on cooldown. But now our boar's up, so I'll go do boar. I'll do boar and then I'll back to finish off boots. Because it's a good power spike, get the boots. Alright, it's two boars. I don't know why I forgot it was two boars. So he's playing the soul lane side. Uh, I could probably stay for another few waves. I do still have my potion, so I shouldn't be in too much trouble. I think Ares has an ult now, though, so if he ults right away, I could be screwed. That's why I don't want to aggress too- Oh, he, he has beads? What the heck? I didn't even look at that. Why is he at beads? What? Okay. But now I'm fine to fight because I have my I have my alt up. Your skill approaches mine own. Thanks. Yeah, Honor's got trans, which means his, his uh, impale's going to hit kind of hard, but if I can avoid that, I should be okay. There we go. Dude, like hitting his ult, it makes him fun to play. Not hitting his ult, though, it's like a lot more boring. But I gotta be really careful, because if Fenrir comes over, I'm probably dead. Or if Ares ult, I could be dead. I just gotta play it safe. I'll do this wave, then back. I'll still use my arrows on this wave. Do it fast. Hmm, she wants to go for the boar. Alright. I'll risk it. At least I know Jean Cui's not coming over. Alright, I'm backing. Is that on her? Come on, man. What's with people leaving just because they get pooped on? This will come in handy. You gotta, you gotta, if you want to get better, you gotta play the game sometimes. You gotta play the game to get better. That's what it takes, you know? It takes practice. Practice and you get better. If you quit all the time when you're behind, you're not gonna get better. You gotta learn how to play from behind. Come on, Mr. On Her. X40, Dr. Wookie X. Come on, man. Now, how am I gonna farm? I really want to do some of these ADC videos where, uh, you know, the enemy ADC doesn't just leave right away. Because as fun as ADC is, it's like 10 times more fun once you get to late game. Also, so with uh, Rama, you can kind of level up his abilities in different ways if you want. You can, uh, if you're using his arrows a bunch and you want to just get more arrows, you can level up his roll. That gives you more. I think also his Q actually gives you more arrows. I'm assuming they're going to come over here, because I don't know where else they would go. Unless they're just doing red buff. Alright, they're not coming over here. Why would they not come over here? There's just no one in this lane. They're just going to let me farm. I guess they're just giving up on the... Oh, Hoi is getting pooped on. I'm going to get this tower then. If I had a... Uh, if I had someone, some health, I could probably just do Gold Fury here. Because they're all over on Soul Lane side. But I'm just going to push Tier 2. I don't think they're going to be able to rotate in time. Like, I probably won't get Tier 2. But, uh, I'll put some pressure on it at least. Since they're getting tier 1 over there. Gotta trade it out, you know? 
I have beads and alts, so I should be okay if they gank me. I assume if they do, it's going to be one or two alts. So I'll try and... S yeah, they're not even ganking. What the heck? Trainer's just hanging out in middle lane. They've just given up on me, apparently. Oh, no, Aries is here. I wasn't actually trying to beat his alt there. I was just, like, pre-beating his, uh... I was beating his... Whatchamacallit? Damn, I hit him, but it wasn't enough. It sucks. Yeah, like, I wasn't doing that to beat his alt. I was doing that to beat his, uh... The jump. So I wanted to be able to auto-attack him. Hopefully they still play a little bit, because I, I have fun playing Realm, and I don't like when games end super early. So buying potions uh, on ADCs, I feel like buying potions with anyone you probably shouldn't do, but I can, I don't like running out of mana when I need my escape. I think I've said this like multiple times before. If I don't have mana for my escape, I'm dead, you know, all the time. Um, And health potions, I think, are kind of important. They're not important, but it's like, it's helpful before you get any lifesteal on. I'm just going to help mid, because like, it's kind of boring just farming all of my lonesome. The Scylla seems to be in a little bit of trouble. Killing spree. I also don't really want to dive in here. Oh, I just dove in, so. Alright, I don't think we should fight that, though. We can just do mid-camps. I don't know why he went to the red. Oh, mid-camps are down. Feels bad. I'm just going to go far more then, I guess. Get my Aussie on as fast as possible. Again, this is a lot less fun when there's no enemy ADC. So yeah, with trains, you don't really need to use your uh, one to clear or anything, but it's faster. So, you know, sometimes when you're going for speed, it's a good thing to do. So Aries is mid. I don't know where Fender is. Fender's dead, I mean. that's I, I knew that. Of course I knew that. I don't know where jean Cui is, but... Not overly concerned about him ganking me because I can get away from him pretty easily. So I'll just get this tower. The only thing I need to worry about is if uh, Fenrir comes up right. I think I could 1v1 Fenrir. Actually, he's kind of he's doing pretty good. He's 72. Maybe I can't 1v1 him. I'm still ahead of him though, so maybe I can. They could be rotating here now though. Oh no, they're rotating to the left. What the heck? Alright, free tower. Thank you. All right, that was easy. Now I get lots of gold. Now I almost have Aussie. I think it's 18, 10. No, wait. It's, tw oh, God damn, I'm bad at math. 1780, I think. So I think I have it. I want to do these boards. Yeah, 1780. Nice, I knew it. Nice. No one thinks. Um, I'll get, I guess I'll get this. I think getting... What should we call it? I think getting sprint against uh, Jean Cui is really, really strong because then you can just avoid his alt. But you can also just Aegis his alt, and I can use Aegis for other things. So well, I got, that's why I decided to get Aegis instead. Out of mana. Yes. I want to start rotating more because just farming is kind of boring. Come on, fight me, Fenrir. Come on, 1v1. Let's go. Let's do this. I'll dance. I missed like half of my autos there or more. Feels bad. There's really nothing to do with no other ADC to fight because no one else wants to fight me right now. They can invade their blue, which isn't a thing I'd ever do as an ADC. Uh, I suppose we'll just get this tower. I may have not had to Aegis that, but if he hit me with a chain, I could have been dead. So, you know, better safe than sorry. 
So anyways, if you're wondering about build, I guess I got a time to talk because there's no way you see the fight. If you're wondering about build, it's like this, these four, right? I'll build those. And then if I'm ahead, I'll do like head by a lot go Deathbringer and then sell Throwing Digger for mal Malice. If I'm like even, I'll go Rage, then Deathbringer and then sell Rage for Malice. And if I'm super far behind, then I just go Pen, like Titan's Bane uh, and like Brawlers or Titan's Bane and Rage because Rage is still super cheap. So it's still okay to get if you're behind. And again, I haven't played tons with the new throwing dagger nerf. I don't think I've ever got to full build uh, with the new throwing dagger nerf. So I don't know how good it would be to go with the uh, to go with the, the crit still because you're not getting the initial like 10% crit from throwing dagger anymore, which kind of helps just like speed up the process a little bit. I could die if I try and fight someone here. I think Fender's coming up behind. I gotta be careful. I don't have beads up and my alt's not up for another few seconds. I want to be safe. I thought Fenrir was going to come around from behind here and try and yes. like pinch me. I don't know, he's just doing a red. Damn it. I might be dead. Oh, I dashed the wrong way. God damn it. I meant to dash backwards. That was really dumb. I guess because I was in his mouth, the fact that I was holding back didn't like, you know, register. Or whatever. So I didn't get the, I didn't get to dash backwards. That kind of sucks. If I dashed backwards, it probably would have been okay. I could have dashed backwards and ulted. Although if he jumped on me anyways, I might have been screwed. I'm honestly not sure. There's a problem with fighting with my beads up. Or without my beads up, sorry. I also probably should use my two when he was using his brutalize. For like extra damage. The thing that needs to the uh, I mean, Athena's playing well. I don't want to. I don't want to harpen her. But if you're playing against a Changa as an Athena, you kind of have to change up how you taunt because people are smart and people know what Athenas do. Um, they know you're going to drop your shield wall and then taunt them back into it, so they're going to use their two right after you drop your shield wall. So you got to sometimes just pre-taunt. Sometimes that's what you got to do. Yeah, this Fenrir is going off. I feel kind of bad for them. I think they kill. I think they have a chance to win if they had. Their ADC. I don't think they have much of a chance to win without their ADC, though. Also, their whole team's around here, so I gotta be careful. I'm gonna go war. Oh, we got a sentry over there. And I'm pretty sure our red sound will get the timer on it. Oh, he got the timer. Pretty sure they just did these. I mean, Jean Quee's just sitting here. I don't know if his ult's up. I'll fight you. Come here, bud. I'm not scared. Get your big tubby body. Although I'm just kind of nervous of everyone else coming around to fight. I'm waiting for Fenrir. Yeah, Fenrir just jumped down. That's what I was waiting for. I don't want him to jump on me and stun me. Right, that was a bit. That was a bit premature. I think. If, you have an, if you're a Scylla and you have an Athena on the team, wait for the Athena taunt. She really wants this. I probably should not have jumped forward there. Also, I guess I did not need to beat there. I don't hear with one. Ah, I'm still targeted. That's bad. On the plus side, we have two ADCs. We can just shred through towers. That's that's helpful for us. I'm gonna go ward. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna go ward gold. We could probably do it. I don't know if Changa alts up or down though. Kind of nerve wracking. I'm just gonna have to stand far away and hope that because Ares doesn't have blink, so. Alright, got it. Then we can drop the red. I'm not gonna take it, I just wanna life slot it a little bit so I can still farm. Or at least get the mana, or not the mana, sorry, the uh, experiences. They're also pushing in really hard. I don't want to go in, I don't know what alts are up. Hey, Athena took it. An accident, but alright. I'm just trying to position well. I didn't have beads up for some reason.
I think that I think you should just retreat. I mean, they can kill the Chonga if they want to, if they can get over there. So I'm not too worried about it. I just didn't want to... Athena would, would have died for that if she stayed too long, I think. Because Chonga could have just dove tower with her two. And then hit her with her one. It would have been a free kill for her, which we don't want to do. Oops, 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 oops. See, Rama's a fun character to play. I like him. I wish that he was, like, better right now. I feel, I've thought... I really thought that with that uh, throwing dagger, he would have been top two. I thought thought it would have been like Rama and uh, Apollo top two ADCs, but alas, he's still like I mean he's still good, you know, he's still above average. But I just feel like there's other ADCs that outshine him pretty strong. Like I think Hoi is a lot better than him. I think Bronos is better, and I think Soul is better, and I think I mean Neath is safer. Hoi is better. Obviously Apollo is better. I think I said Hoi twice. You, you, you. Uh, Aries does not have blink yet. I don't know why they're taking fights. I think a lot of the time when people are up a person, they're like, oh, we can just fight whenever we want. But they're like fighting in the other team's jungle when they're low. And it's still a 4v4 because I'm not over there. And they all have their alts up. Someone pulled fire. Probably on accident, but someone did it anyway. I don't want to stand too close because I don't know what alts are up now. I think... I don't know what the cooldown is on Chang'e alt, so it could be back up. Also, I know Ares doesn't have alt, though. Are they trying to go for gold fury? No. Venner is looking to jump on someone. I just don't want it to be me. Let's brutalize it. Okay, there we go. We're fine. Oh, that was terrible. That sucks. That was actually a really good all by the Scylla. Even though she didn't get the kill for it, that was really, that was like, really good timing on that to avoid the Chang'a ult. I don't think we can kill the Chang'a, yeah, she used Sprint, that's fine, that's worth down now. Oh, what do I do? There's nothing to farm. We could honestly just do fire. Eh, maybe not. Not with everyone down. Well, that's fine. So Fenrir alts down, Chang alts down. I think Ares alts probably back up by now, but we got a lot of alts and a lot of relics for a few kills. I'm just going to back. Damn, I keep forgetting what the BRB is. Be right back. Uh, so I'm going to start. I'm going to start with my crit now so I could do loads of damage. I've also held, had the Sentry War on me for a decent chunk of time. Oh, rip another person. Their Ares did. He was 0 and 7. It's unfortunate. It's been a fun game though. At least they didn't surrender right away. Like kudos to them for sticking through it. I know that's hard because like when you have DCs and people are just legitimately left, you're not gonna win. Even if you're outplaying them, it's just gonna get to a point where you can't fight everyone. So it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna push this up. The only tower we don't have. I'm gonna assume the surrender vote's coming through soon, unless they're just like, you know, pals. They're like, we're having a good time. Let's just play this through. Plus, they don't really need me over there fighting a like four v two. I mean, apparently they do because uh, what's her face died. But I'll get this tower. They probably be able to get the phoenix because they're against one. I mean, we'll get one of these phoenixes for sure. Because there's only one up to defend. But once Jean Kui comes up, I'm just going to back off. Oh, she's coming over here. That's fine, though. Push him up to the phoenix. I'll just do this mid-wave and back. I mean, we won't back, but I'll do this mid-wave so they're at least pushed up to it. Like, they really can't do anything at this point. Oh, we got that phoenix. Nice. Nice. Again, it kind of sucks for them, because I'm sure that they're just having a good time trying to play some games, and their teammates are leaving. That's never a good thing. Oh, 
Oh, Fenrir's here. I thought someone just... I thought like two people just died. I guess it was a teammate, huh? Oh no! Oh my god, that was so much damage. I didn't think her ult was still up. Alright, what we want? I should have just... I should have Aegis that. I didn't know her ult was going to come out like that. That's too bad. Ended it with a death. Feels bad. But I got the, I got the return kill, so it's, it's whatever. But anyway, that was Rama. Rama's a fun character. Shout out to that team for not leaving right away. Shout out to them for sticking, sticking through it all. That's a cool thing to do. Yeah, hopefully I get to do some of these ADC ones. I guess the soul one, no one left. But hopefully I get to do more ADC ones where people don't leave. And we have to actually play through the game and get to full build. Because full build ADC is really fun. In my opinion. Nice, first one of the day. Nice. Nice, top damage. Yeah, I damage to Scylla. Suck at Scylla. Oh, Fenrir though. God damn Fenrir. And Chonka. And Chonka. Wow, well, I wasn't doing enough. So anyways, that was Rama. Again, what I would have done to finish off the build, in case you were wondering, is that crit would have built into uh, Deathbringer. Would have sold Throwing Dagger for Malice. And then if it went late enough, I probably would have sold Warrior Tabby for Ninja Tabby and Iqbal for Titan's Bane just for more pen. Although I guess I didn't really need it against their team. There's only one character building defense. Who's still playing? Yep. Anyways, that's that's Rama. So thank you for joining. Hope you enjoyed. Hope to see you again for another episode in a little while. I think next ADC I'm going to do is Medusa. I think that's next up, and then probably Uller at some point, because he's really cool too. And just go through all of them at some point, because ADC is a fun role. So yeah. Take care, everyone.